Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I know you're going to be excited tonight because I have another Little Critter book. We love Little Critter. He is so much fun. And this book is very exciting because this book is called Just My Lost Treasures. <gasps> Just My Lost Treasures. This is a book about Little Critter finding all of his favorite things. Do you have favorite things? Do you have treasures? Oh, I love when I find something that I think was lost. I love finding my treasures. And so does Little Critter. I wonder what treasures he finds. We're going to have to open this book and get inside and see how Little Critter finds his lost treasures. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Just My Lost Treasure by Mercer Mayer. Little Critter, Mom called. Please come to the laundry room. Oh, no, I thought. What did I do now? I don't think I left bubble gum in my pockets. Little Critter thinks he's in trouble because Mom wants to see him. You are missing one sock from each pair, said Mom. They just disappeared, I said. Find where they disappeared to, Mom said. I looked in my closet, no socks, but I found my lost Space Ranger rocket ship. I looked under my bed, no socks, but I found my super space robot. It had been missing forever. Little Critter is supposed to be finding socks, but instead he's finding all his lost toys. I went to look in my little sister's room, but she wouldn't let me in. She's got a sign on her door that says, keep out. Maybe a sock is in the sandbox, I thought. I took my shovel outside to dig. I dug and dug. No sock. But I found my Billy Bear bulldozer. What a lucky day. Mom said I had to keep looking. I called Gator. Gator, did I leave any socks at your house? I asked. I don't know, Gator said. Come over and look. I went to Gator's house. No socks, but we found a bug and a green snake. Ooh. I found my Critter Scout bugle in the garden. I was finding lost treasure everywhere, but he wasn't finding any socks. Then I went to Tiger's house. Have I left any socks here? I asked. We checked in Tiger's laundry room. But his mom made us go outside. Oh, look at the mess they made. Let's look at my clubhouse above the garage, Tiger said. No socks, but we found my bomber jacket and my cowboy hat. Still finding lots of stuff, but no socks. I passed Timothy's house on the way home. I rang the doorbell. Timothy's mother answered. Hello, little critter, she said. Did I leave any socks here? I asked. No, but I have something else you left here, she said. She handed me my giant stuffed gorilla that talks. I had no idea I had lost so many toys. I thought I'd go by the park before I went home. A little raccoon kid was playing basketball with his dad. I watched them for a minute. Hey, that's mine, I said when I saw the ball. My name is on the side. His dad looked. There was my name. I was so happy. But the little raccoon wasn't. Uh-oh, he found his ball, but that little raccoon was having fun with it. I let him borrow my ball. I couldn't carry much else. And I found even more stuff in the weeds. It was my red racer wagon. Now I could carry all my treasures home. I also found my hockey stick, my sluggo duggo bat, and my lasso. How could he have lost so much stuff? I found my Super XL keyboard at Henrietta's house. I went home with no socks, but lots of treasures. Mom heard me and called, Little Critter, is that you? Yes, Mom, I answered. Look what I found, she said. Mom was cleaning out Blue's bed. There were all my missing socks. The dog had taken his socks. Oh, no. 
I showed mom all my lost treasure. Mom, you found the socks, I said, and I found my lost treasure. Blue buried your socks just like his lost treasure, mom said. Now I can wash socks and you can put your toys back where they belong. They aren't just toys, mom, I said. They're just my lost treasure. Oh, little Critter had lost a lot of stuff. I mean, he didn't find his socks like his mom told him to, but he found so many toys that were everywhere. They were at his friend's house, they were at the park, they were everywhere. And when he got home, he was so excited to show his mom. Thankfully, his mom found the lost socks that the doggy had taken, but Little Critter was so excited. And mom said, now put your toys away. And he's like, these aren't my toys. These are my treasures. That was a lot of fun. I hope that you have fun with your treasures. Do you have a lot of special things at home that you love to hold on to because they're your treasures? They're very special to you? That's really good. I love when I get to be with my treasures and find my treasures. When my boys were little, they had little boxes that they would put all of their favorite things in and they would call it their treasure box. You can do that too. Finding lost treasures is fun. Having favorite things is fun. And you know, you need to be thankful to mom and dad for all the wonderful treasures that they give you. In fact, we're going to pray about that tonight. Pray about being thankful for our treasures. Would you take a minute and pray with Miss Dorothy? Okay, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day and for all the things that you have given us. Thank you for our special treasures, our favorite toys, our special things our pets and our families which are the greatest treasure at all and now please help us to love our mom and dad and to be thankful to them for all they do for us and all they give us in Jesus name Amen. All right, my little critter, time for you to get off to bed. I need you to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tonight, you give mom and dad an extra big kiss and thank them for all your treasures and for them because your family is your greatest treasure. You remember that and show mom and dad how much you love them tomorrow and obey and obey right away. And come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read a book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.